Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, the executive director of film, Issa Art, already here, back with our first All-22 breakdown of the 2023 NFL draft cycle, and it's no other than Alabama quarterback Bryce Young. Yes, today I'm going to take you step-by-step, play-by-play of what makes Bryce Young not only one of the best players in this class, but in my humble opinion, the top quarterback prospect in this class. Now, before we get into the film, I just want to show you guys relatively quickly here. Um, just a quick look at Bryce's career stats. Um, set as a 65.8% completion percentage passer with 8,356 passing yards, set with 80 touchdowns and 12 interceptions with a quarterback rating of 165 for his career. Those are very good numbers, especially for the fact that he was only a starter for two years. That shows that he made his impact for right away at Alabama. So when it comes to Bryce Young, man, I mean, where do we start? I guess we start with the fact that he's just an unreal playmaker. Um, yeah, he's six foot, one ninety, I guess, but the dude simply just plays like Patrick Mahomes. Like as you see on this play right here, starts off with a drifting pocket, and dang near runs around three people to make a throw on the move. As we transition here to the Texas game, you see it again, but this time he's throwing back across his body to Jameer Gibbs in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Just incredible awareness from him. Um, his ability to just play sandlot football and just make plays is just really untouched and unseen from any other player in this class. He does it on a consistent basis. This is back in 2021. In the SEC championship game against Georgia, you see the little side flip to Robinson where he picks up the first down. He's always finding a way to make a play to keep his team ahead of the chains, to keep his offense on schedule. It's one of the things I truly love about the kid. I mean, the heart he has at six foot, really, he's not even six foot. I'm 5'10", and he looks like he's 5'10", but he doesn't play like it. He plays as hard as you I mean look at this this is absolutely ridiculous to be able to extend the play to Robinson again this is in 2021 against Texas A&M um, the ability to extend the play you know manipulate the pocket those are things that in the modern NFL world today are necessary for a quarterback nobody wants a Peyton Manning or a, um, a Tom Brady anymore no disrespect to those quarterbacks those are great quarterbacks but what people want is they want a guy who can make all the throws and run the field, but can also extend plays. As you see here on this play right here, um, you see him just giving a little signal to Mitchie, just continue coming back to him at the back of his. He throws on a rope. I mean, his ball placement is just impeccable. You're going to see on these next few throws here, he can hit it from anywhere, bro. It doesn't matter. See this? Like taking candy from the baby, he can put it on the outside numbers, he can put it inside the numbers. He can put it up the hash, outside the hash. I mean, the, the range of his arm is just remarkable. Anybody that says that there's a quarterback in here, this class that can make throws that Bryce can't, they're lying. Because he can make all the throws. See the little in route there to Cameron Latu, who's going to be at the senior bowl. Watch out for him. It's just too easy for Bryce, man. It's just simply too easy. The way he gets the ball out so effectively and efficiently. You're going to see here, you got 11 holding at the bottom of the swing. He's coming down on the comeback route. Hit him right in stride. Right in between the numbers. That's another thing, too, about Bryce. He's extremely accurate, deadly accurate. I would go that far and describe him because... A lot of the throws, especially in 2022, um, that hit his receivers in the hands were either drops or big plays. You know, it was not a lot of errant throws for real. So you got Jamison Williams back in 2020 against Arkansas running the exact same route that Treshawn Holden, number 11, war, ran in 2022. And you just love to see the 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 anticipation, the timing of getting the ball out quickly. 
sped read the defense and got the ball where it needed to be. Another thing too about Bryce is he is one of the best anticipation throwers in this class. When he sees somebody open, he does not flinch, he does not hesitate, does not have to rush up in his face. That ball is out, and he is making it spin like a spiral, pun intended. Like, such a fun study, man. It's his ability to just fling the ball from any angle, really spiral on the field. It's just truly incredible. You're going to see this throw here. Right through the traffic of Kobe Prentice. A freshman at Alabama that you guys need to watch out for, but look at this tight window. I mean, that's 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 NFL NFL throw right there. Patient here with James Williams. A lot of these clips on here in this section of the film session is really just to show that he loves to attack the middle of the field, and that's actually rare. You know, most quarterbacks try to stay away from the middle of the field when they're this young because that's how you create a lot of turnovers. But Bryce is fearless, man, and he plays that way. And he's always attacking the middle of the field. He's not afraid to throw it over the top. Each has. Just, he's a really cerebral quarterback. I'd argue the most cerebral quarterback in the field. Look at this. Look at this throw out type. I'm going to right here. This is what I'm talking about. I mean... The length of this throw, this is not a normal throw, by the way. Not everybody can make this throw and throw it accurately. And the fact that he had still gave Mechie room to spare, I mean, like, that just shows you the arm time. He's gonna throw over here to slay bowl normal, sit down around, beat the zone coverage. It's gonna be a string of plays here from the Georgia game, the SEC Championship in 2021. Um, you just love, again, you just love how cerebral he is. You just love how he just gets the ball out. And then on this one, this is just funny. I just put this in for fun. Makes the referee duck and throws a missile to Cameron Latu over the middle. You can see here, there goes the umpire right there. Snaps the ball. Let's that thing go. <laughs> Watch your head, my boy. Watch your head. Um, nah, seriously, though. I mean, and this is something that doesn't get talked about a lot, but his ability to sense out or snuff out what the defense is doing is absolutely insane. I mean, this might be the smartest quarterback I've scouted in my entire career so far. You're going to see him sniff out the little blitz, dummy blitz they were calling here, and get Trayshawn Holden to come to me for a slant out. You see, he sees it, he calls it out right there. Now he's about to signal to the line. So it's the line and signal to Trayshawn Holden to route the run. Snaps the ball. Easy six. That's what you look for in a modern NFL quarterback prospect. You look for a guy who can read inf read defenses, make adjustments. See, he's going to escape to his left and throw on the move. Throw nice and low away. So only Bird can catch it so that safety coming through on that cover two can't get over to it. Just excellent, just excellent all around. Feels the rush, just steps right through, delivers the ball accurately. This play, you're gonna see him do the exact same thing, but to the opposite side. Goes from the center, throws the lot to there for a quick and easy first down. Just put this in here to show his ability to throw on the move. Um, he didn't really get to showcase a lot. A lot of his throws on the move actually were drop passes, so he <laughs> couldn't put him in here. Now, this is the thing of beauty. You want to talk about identifying a butcher. You have Mechie and Young identify the butcher. And throw a beautiful back shoulder fade to Mechie here. I mean, just watch this. You're going to see this from the cartel angle. Just watch it. He motions, he motions Brian Robinson over, tells him, hey, this is coming. He picks it up and then throws it right to where he left from. <laughs> I mean, just absolutely beautiful there by Bryce. Here you're gonna see a cornerback blitz and he sees it and throws it immediately to the receiver that he blitzes from. Just excellent recognition. Didn't even have to really make any adjustment there. Just saw the blitz coming and just made the right decision. You see that a lot on film. You just see him making the correct decision over and over and over. You know, as evaluated, that makes you really happy. It makes you really happy. Another play here, you got Slade and Bolden motioning out. 
in the heat of a rush makes an on-time throw right to him. You know, for a guy who's six foot, <laughs> 190, this is someone who really, really handles pressure well. You know, even with DeMarvin Leal barreling down on him, still blows the ball out of him. Now this right here is just working the middle of the field and just an absolute strike. You see him, you see how James Williams get that safety to open up, and then Bryce just puts it on him, and then it's just wraps. I mean, I could sit here and talk about James Williams all day, but this is just one of those NFL type throws to where, yes, he was wide open, but somebody being late on that that could lead to not being a touchdown. You see another second level throw here. This isn't go for a touchdown, but this is just absolutely phenomenal ball placement. Something that doesn't really get talked about again with Bryce Young. I mean, his ball placement is outstanding. I mean, look at where that ball is. Just outstanding. Speaking of ball placement, look at this throw right here, you guys. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let you watch. Now, sirs, ladies and gentlemen. This is a throw outside the numbers, by the side. That's caught at the 44 yard line. I mean, just a pure dot. You got Mechie coming in motion again, and what does Bryce do? The exact same thing. This time he fits it right before the safety can get over and pick it off and gives him enough room for yet. I mean, First of all, this is a beautiful play call, but this is a heck of a throw by Bryce Young here. If he throw, you got to understand, if he throws that any more further out, that's probably an interception. Maybe a pick six at that. Another quick throw here to Cameron Latu. Outside the numbers. Comes from the game. Just a very cool, calm, and collected guy. A little up fake. Got Kobe Prentice loose up the sideline. No throw outside the numbers here to Jameson Williams. I mean, it's just it's just remarkable to see just just the way he gets the ball out so quickly. And it's not like he has to, I mean he does hold the ball, but when he does get it out, like see here. Just outstanding, man. Just outstanding top to bottom player. Love the way, again, love the way he attacks the middle of the field, man. You have to understand that this is this is this is what you want to see. This is what you want to see as an evaluator. You want to see these quarterbacks attack in the middle of the field. You want to see these guys throwing the ball down the field, throwing the ball accurately. And Bryce does all those things. Now this is this is the part of the film session. Where Mel Kuyper and Todd McShay and all those big time guys aren't gonna show you. Bryce the athlete. I mean, the next few minutes is just Bryce just running away from people. I mean, look at this shit. Play breaking down, nowhere to go. Shoot! Ooh! Get down. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't understand the, the I don't understand the notion that, that, that this guy is a good athlete. I mean, look at these movement skills right here. Pocket breaking down. Get breaks him off. And then breaks another guy off in the middle of the field. Same thing here against Texas A&M back in 2021. Another play where they didn't see anything open. So right, take off. Oh, and breaks him right down too again. <laughs> Nearly loses the ball, but... What we're looking for is mobility, and it's clearly there. I mean, it's clearly there. And you love to see it. Also, too, a lot of questions about his size. This film session should clear that up for you. I mean, he just ran from DeMarvin Leal, <laughs> a 290-pound defensive lineman from last year's class. So that tells you all you need to know. Texas game this year really showed off his moves too. I think he ran for about 50 yards. Or so, five carries. About 10 yards to pop. I think this year too, he really wanted to show everyone that he could run. 
and like his counterpart who will probably watch uh, sometime in the relative near future CJ Stroud uh, he actually wanted to show NFL scouts that he could run so that could be one less knock on him which I ain't mad at him for I wouldn't be you see here you just see everybody vacation and takes off yeah, he's, he's a very underrated athlete man I mean I don't expect him to run like nothing crazy like a 4-4 or something like that I think he'll run like a four, five, six, something like that. I'm pretty good. I know he's 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 a good athlete for a quarterback. Got pretty much as good as you can get at that size and stature. Look at just a casual stroll. Not even not even really trying. <laughs> that's what that's what you look for. That's what you look for. You look for those those guys like they can just get you those little six or seven yards. It's funny because my comp for him is a more athletic Aaron Rodgers. So, yeah. <laughs> you're seeing that and more here on this film session. Um, this play, I, this this just hilarious. I just love how he just dances and runs the field and just decides to finally go down. And skipping for skipping for 50 yards is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> crazy to skip for 50 yards see nothing up and down field is vacation just have run to everybody i mean this is i'm joking around but this is impressive this is impressive impressive for sure getting back here in texas 2022 it's gonna vacate and a casual sunday stroll Drive home the point that, that he is, and he is a good enough athlete to, to, you know, get you some yards if you need it for a first down. Because, like I said, you know, the Mel Kuypers and the Todd McShays, they're not going to show you this. They're just simply not going to show you, but we have film this are going to show you. I'm going to show you everything that we possibly can to um, give you the best evaluation of the football player. Actually, I was wrong. This isn't the last one. We got to show him shaking uh, Devontae Wyatt in the middle of the field. <laughs> I did not mean to put John Mitchie tearing his ACL in there either, but I digress. <laughs> yeah, so really big time throw here to the outside numbers um, to Slade Bolden. That's, that's a big time throw. Had to fit it over the cornerback two that was coming off. They were in cover two with a blitz and a Kobe Dean. Good night. <laughs> he had a really big time throw here as well. The throw from about the 30 yard line to Mechie. A hair, a hair under throw, and that's a pick. It was a perfectly thrown ball, and it was open to touchdown. It's really good timing as well. He just, he, he just does everything right, man. Now, this right here is absolutely special. First of all, first of all, James Williams is about to absolutely cook this dude at the bottom of the screen. Just flat out torque him out. But y'all watch the throw. I mean, there's nothing that the fella can do. He's already beat, but that's a perfect throw. That's absolutely a dime. And, that, and, that's, and that's when he has the receivers and he actually has the weapons, that's all he throws. He throws dimes. There are literally some catches on, the plays on here where they're actually just dimes that are just dropped. It ain't just not that one. I mean, can we, can, can we talk for a minute? I might as well just cut off the lights and get the lotion at this point. I mean, that's absolutely insane. Just full on launch to a spot. We're only James Williams to catch it. And then we right back at it again. Overthrows it for two people. Two people. Right on the money. Now, a lot of this is just James Williams just fashioning everybody. 
but you still look for the ability to get the ball out. And he, and he has it with ease. I mean, on on the Georgia throw, it looked like he wound, wound it up a little bit. Like he put a lot into that. That throw right there looked too easy. Just another, another example of the playmaking here. You have a play breakdown and you're gonna find 12 at the bottom of the screen. And just just the ability to create and, and make plays off script. This is really important in today's NFL and, and, he, and he has that. Like I said, he's he's really Patrick Mahomes like. I'm not gonna call him Patrick Mahomes because he's not that he doesn't have that flame at 6'3. He's not body set at 225, but he does Patrick Mahomes-esque things when he has the ball in his hand. With this play right here, nothing's open on a two-point conversion. You spin out, you shake another guy, and you get the two-point conversion for your team. It's absolutely outstanding. Another example of him as an athlete. Now this is a one negative play I do have on here because some occasionally he does hold the ball too long and he'll try to play backyard too much and he'll get caught up. <laughs> These film sessions you can look for at least a bad play. What's the point of this play? Play like it is like somebody who's a third round pick and he'll probably figure if he gets some bad plays. But Bryce Young right now is currently the top player on my board, so I'm not finna bombard y'all with a bunch of bad film. I know what y'all want. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Another layered throw by Bryce. Just absolutely, just absolutely perfect. Just looking off the safety. And hits Slade Bolden. Right in the hands. I mean, this is absolutely textbook. Look at that release, bro. Mm -hmm. This is one of them plays I was telling you about. I included that was an incompletion. Really just sitting here to say Jermaine Burton sucks, but I mean we all know that. Now this is right here what we need to see. Got yeah, James Williams at the slot. Really sell that in and out, go up for the post, and then Bryce just puts it right on the freaking money. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, y'all. It does not get any better. 50 yard line and just lets it go with a little hop hop and run back. Mm. Mm. Got a treat for you today. We're gonna watch the end of the Texas game. We're gonna put this bad boy down. You see the little throw to the sticks. Trayshawn holding. Good anticipation, good timing. Throws it low and away. Good job, Bryce. Next play. Got Trayshawn holding the game. Cornerback coming on a blitz. Beats the safety to the inside on the little in route. Bryce hits it on the money again. Good pickup by McClellan to the running back there. Also a better throw by Bryce. Making the refs duck again. <laughs> and Trayshawn holding the game. Stop route. A Keller more special for the Cowboys fans out there. Y'all know what the stop round is. We run them every time on third down. But just his composure at the end of this game, and you guys see he's just making all the right decisions, trying to put his team on his back. This is actually relatively one of his bad games for 2022. Completion percentage is barely over 50. Um, a touchdown in the pick. Game, but he made up for it on this drive. These two drives, actually. The next drive you're about to see is the drive where he drives to put his team in field goal range because Texas had just took the lead. Burton wide open. 
Ain't nothing really talk about there. This rap by drop New York Gibbs is absolutely filthy though. I mean, that wasn't really for Bryce, we're just showing the drive, but I mean that round is just nasty. Also stop defensive ends on running backs, please. You're hurting yourselves. All defensive coordinators out there. Really good throw by Bryce here. Good timing a lot too. A lot too, I'm telling you guys, I like him a lot. You know, they got to watch for a scene ball. I think I've said it like four times already, but I got the picture. Watch for that scene ball, like I said. <laughs> Good player. Yeah, this the one right here. You know what I'm saying? Just watch. Sit down, son. Well, that's all she wrote for this film session for Alabama's very own quarterback, Bryce Young. Like I said, my comp for Bryce Young is a more athletic Aaron Rodgers. And I project him to be a top five pick in the upcoming 2023 NFL draft. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, this first one worked very hard on it. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more content. And I hope everybody has a blessed day. <laughs>